assalamu alaikum i am sumbul zehra from sir sayed government girls college with the support and guidance of our principal professor khalda parveen today i am here again to give lecture on bio savots law but until now i hope you all have subscribed this youtube channel which is sin college lecturers youtube channel today we will discuss bio savots law so far we have studied that if a charged particle is kept in a magnetic field it experiences a force if it moves if it does not move there will be no force observed but what we are discussing is magnetic field so who creates this magnetic field the source of magnetic field that is our topic today so when there is a moving charge there is an electric current and this electric current is the source of magnetic field now if electric current is our source of magnetic field then how much current gives how much magnetic field we know the intensity of the magnetic field is defined as 1 unit of tesla that gives 1 newton force to 1 coulomb charge that moves with a velocity of 1 meter per second there is a force 1 newton then the intensity is 1 tesla but who creates this 1 tesla so the current creates this the moving charge create this 1 tesla of magnetic field so what is the relation between strength of the magnetic field and the quantity of the current if here current is flowing i how much is the current i so that the magnetic field is 2 tesla what is the relation between intensity of the magnetic field and the electric current which is creating this magnetic field for this first time the law was made by bio savot bio savot's law tells us the relation between few quantities these few quantities are the strength of the magnetic field created by current so there is a current and there is a magnetic field for that we can take an example we have taken a conductor a small element of a conductor from which current i is flowing if there is a current there is a certain magnetic field so we have taken one point p and there is a magnetic field created here how much is the magnetic field from that for that he made a law he says that the source of the magnetic field is electric current but here we defined that for flowing of magnetic field the length has to be there if there is no length then how current will flow a charge unless a charge move it cannot make electric current so for making electric current the charge has to move if it moves then there is some length of the path unless the length of the path is there charge cannot move if it does not move it does not form current if it does not form current it has no velocity there will be no magnetic field so what is necessary is a charge length of the path is necessary and the charge must move so combining all these things moving charge makes current length of the path a very small length element dl is taken when the charge pass through it it forms a current because it is moving now this current can creates magnetic field all around it and we found out magnetic field at this point p so what is the speciality of this point p this point has specification in two terms what is the distance of dl from point p and at what angle it is we can call this length element dl as current element and all such small elements put together makes up the conductor so this current element is the preliminary thing which is responsible to create magnetic field so magnetic field is created by this current element this current element which creating a magnetic field so uh, we can find out the magnetic field at point p through this current element so this point p is at a position r 
making an angle theta with dl some magnetic field is produced here so the strength of this ma that magnetic field is db so now there is a current element dl in which current i is flowing as shown in the diagram there is a point p which is at a distance r and this position vector making an angle theta with the current element dl so now we are calculating the magnetic field at point p for this bayor savart makes a law he says db is directly proportional to i dl magnetic field is directly proportional to current and is also directly proportional to current element if current element is larger then strength of the field increases if current is larger then also strength of the field increases and strength of the field means magnetic field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance the more will be the distance the weaker will be the force db here he calculated that the strength of this magnetic field will decrease as square of the distance so as we said earlier that db is inversely proportional to 1 over r square which is just like same as coulomb's law and this magnetic field db is affected by theta if theta equals to 90 degree then field is maximum if theta equals to 0 degree then field is zero and that change is according to sin theta magnetic field at all distances is not same it is affected by angle also and this dependency is db is directly proportional to sin theta now combining all three relations then db is directly proportional to i dl sin theta upon r square here i dl is the current element means source of the magnetic field and theta is the angle between position vector r and current element dl and it is also inversely proportional to the square of this position vector so it this equation of bayor savart law is very much like coulomb's law where e equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q over r square where epsilon not in coulomb's law is the permittivity of the medium which is the quantity gives certain electrical characteristics whether it allows the charge to apply force on it or it will not allow the charge to apply force there is and another property in space which allow magnetic field to be applied and this characteristics of space allows that how much magnetic field at this point p is given so with this property of space is known as mu not which is known as permeability of free space if there is a material medium so we cannot uh, take it as mu not we can uh, take it as only mu so in bayor savart law if we replace the proportionality there is db equals to 1 upon 4 pi mu not i dl sin theta upon r square so this is known as bayor savart law and this db is the magnitude of field uh, which is creating at point p so now we have taken out the magnitude of this magnetic field by bayot savart law and now we are taking out the direction of this magnetic field by right hand palm rule as shown in the diagram the two fingers of the right hand are showing the direction of of the position vector r and the current element dl and thumb is in the direction of the field which is in the inward direction and the direction of this field which is inward is shown by the cross as shown in the diagram above diagram so now we are taking out the unit of permeability of free space so mu not upon 4 pi equals to 10 to the power minus 7 units means mu not equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 now 
dv has a unit of tesla so put in uh, the units in equation of biot's avot law so dv has a unit tesla into meter square r square has a unit meter square divided by ampere and dl has a unit meter so mu naught has a unit tesla meter ampere inverse because 4 pi is constant so unit of mu naught is tesla meter ampere inverse right so that's all for today thank you so much